there's a entire new, no, it's not very new, it's maybe in the last 10 or 15 years, agile management. If you've not read or heard of it, it's definitely worth a, a Google search or YouTube videos. A lot of times you'll see this involved in software development. And that's where there's a little bit of stigma in our construction world because a lot of the things that were were wrong in software development 20 years ago that was fixed with some agile concepts were things that we already do in the construction business. So we already are in some ways agile. And I sort of, there's all these nice terms. If you actually go start talking with somebody about agile or start talking about things like epics and backlogs and burn down charts, user stories, Kanbans, product owners, sprints and sprint planning, retrospectives, well, of course, you know, I've got little analogs to terms that maybe we understand. And so we're, we're really already doing a lot of this stuff. So in that case, we're, we're right, sort of. Some other aspects involved with Agile are the personal relationships. And that is one of the most important things. You're actually, you force yourself to get up with your team and you have a daily stand-up to say, hey, what are you working on? You force some structure in terms of what are we trying to achieve in a certain amount of, in a certain period. It's, again, you can sort of go back to that weekly report. Well, what was my accomplishments last week? What are my areas of concern? Were there, well, were there things that I didn't finish that I should have finished? And are they important? That is just innate in Agile, the way you work with it. And it does fit into a construction world because we are.